Hey WordPress League, I'm going to drop the back again with another new episode and this time I will show something interesting to you and this episode is only for the WooCommerce lover. Those who are working with WooCommerce projects, uh, this will be uh, very helpful for you. Also for the, those who have a uh, store, uh, those who have a store, e-commerce store with WooCommerce, then this will be a very helpful project and uh, I can assure you this project will help you to get a uh, extra sale uh, in your WooCommerce site that's the thing and I will show how we can how you can boost that uh, if you want to create a page where you can uh, directly uh, redirect your customer to your checkout page if you have if you uh, have a thought in that in that in your mind if you want to create a, this kind of page uh, or there is a second uh, you can create uh, directly land your customer to a checkout page that will be very awesome uh, i have created a, a page like that let's see this is a section i have created this is my woocommerce test site i have installed woocommerce here so how uh, in this page i have created a section with the uh, default 2020 theme and with a Gutenberg editor so in the Gutenberg editor it's quietly uh, it's quite tough to add extra uh, checkout button directly to your button default good I'm using it good default good button. so let's check what happen if I click here if I click here it's directly landed here and uh, uh, what I get uh, this is the product I have uh, inst uh, already added so actually uh, this is uh, the different product is showing here but uh, I'm just creating a mock-up design here so I have added a single product here to create show uh, something interesting to you so if you want to create this kind of uh, checkout uh, button link uh, or the direct che WooCommerce checkout is a direct WooCommerce checkout link to your uh, buttons uh, so it will be uh, how you can create that it's a very simple trick very easy trick you can create with that uh, the link is here uh, you have to uh, use this link this will helpful for you here's the link this is your domain.com plus slash checkout slash question mark at add hyphen to card add to card equals to ID that means this is your product ID in that case here is my product ID 153 I'll share the link in the description you will get the link in the description and I hope by copying the link you can create this uh, awesome hack you can hack your WooCommerce to redirect your customer direct to your checkout page it will helpful to uh, grab your uh, don't give your users to a second thought to buy your buy your products from your stores so this is the link and how I get the product ID that may be question in your mind so to get the product ID you have to jump on the product section of the WooCommerce so here is my old products I have added only one product so this is the product ID you will get the product ID from here this is 153 so uh, uh, how I have added the link here uh, just go to the check edit page let's see how I have added this is my backend section this is the button this is the default uh, Gutenberg button and I have my editing this so this is the thing this is my site URL this is the checkout this is the add to cart and this is my product ID this is the product ID 153 this is the product ID and just hit the link and link will be redirect the open new tab this is the easiest the most easiest way to redirect your customer directly to your checkout page and it will be added all the it's it will jump the one one stays actually uh, you can skip one stage which one is cart section they directly land it to the checkout page this is the checkout page of WooCommerce this is the default design so this is all about how you can create this and if any users want to check the view card the view card option is also available here and then update the card and you can get the process to check out this is the process checkout and this is the default process so it's all about for today uh, this is how you can create a direct checkout link for your WooCommerce sisters or WooCommerce products or this link will help you to to uh, link uh, you can set this link anywhere uh, any section of your website if
uh, if you're using any tool that is not fully compatible with WooCommerce, then you can use this link uh, to uh, redesign or to use the tool within your WooCommerce store to navigate your customer to a checkout page directly. So this is how you can use a uh, non-compatible WooCommerce product to uh, WooCommerce tool to your uh, in your website in this way. So hope you will enjoy this tutorial. I hope uh, this will help you a bit and thank you for watching this tutorial. I will create this type of things for you and uh, stay connected. If you find this tutorial helpful, then give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you, my dear friends. Thank you for watching again. Tata, see you in the next video. Take care.